Hey guys, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you are. Uh, hello, replay viewers, thanks for popping in. Hey guys, I just wanted to check in on everybody. It is June and it's the beginning of the month and the beginning of the month is always a good time just to do a reset, just to do some inventory, see, you know, reevaluate. How did you do last month? What do you need to change this month? And so, guys, I just wanted to come on and give, get you on your toes, keep you on your toes, rather, when it comes to your career. Uh, the summer is swiftly approaching. Uh, it's still a good time to be job searching. But as we move into July, job searching is going to slow down just a tad. So I just wanted to check in to all of my nine to fivers, my job seekers, to see where you are, see how I can help you, help you with your goals, help you identify the goals, and then also help you if you need help executing those goals. And so as I was saying, uh, the summer is approaching, July is gonna be a little slow as far as hiring, and then it'll kind of pick up at the end of August. But uh, here's the thing, if you are interested in hospitality or anything that has to do with tourism, those are really hot right now. So go ahead and take advantage of that if those are industries uh, that you are interested in because like I said, we're going into the summer. So those industries, those jobs are gonna be hopping right now. And even though as we go into the summer, I don't want you guys to get lazy are complacent. July is going to be a good time for you to just reevaluate everything. This is time where you should be working on your resume. You should be working on your LinkedIn profile. Uh, you should be continuously networking. Uh, you should be uh, doing professional development classes, working on your communication, working on your leadership skills. Hey, Katrina, thanks for popping in. You know, working on certifications, these are all the things that you should be doing uh, now and in July when the hiring is, is kind of slow. Don't sleep on it. Use this as an opportunity to get ahead so when August and September comes, you can go ahead and you'll be ready and you'll be ahead of the game. Hey there, how are you? Just giving everybody a few tips on what you can do in, during the summer just to stay on top of things, stay abreast of everything that's going on. I want you guys to go ahead and take an honest inventory of where you are right now. I always like the beginning of the month because it's like a reset. You can hit the restart button. You can look at the previous month and say, you know, I did this, but there were a couple of things I wanted to do that I didn't do. And so you can come into the next month and just reset and restart. And that's what I want you to do with your career. I want you to look at a couple of things uh, this month because we're at the beginning of the month. I want you to take an honest inventory. I want you to make a list of the things that you like and you don't like about your job. I want you to physically get a piece of paper and get a pen and actually write down the things you don't like and the things you do like about your job. And if your list if you look at your list and the things that you don't like about your job is longer than the list of the things that you do like about your job, you're going to have to be honest about yourself and see if it's time for you to make a move. And that's something only you can decide. I can't decide that for you because you know your career goals and you know what's a priority for you. So I want you to go ahead and make that list. And some of the things you should, probably should be thinking about, you know, think about are you bored at work? Uh, are you lacking any motivation at work? Um, are you not as motivated as you used to be? You know, uh, are you just doing the bare minimum at work? Uh, another important thing is, how's your health? How are you feeling at work? Are you excited to go to work? Or are you getting headaches every time you go to work? Those are some of the things that you need to be considering. Are you fulfilled at work? Are you making an impact? You know, are you impacting your coworkers? Are you impacting the customers and clients? Or are you adding any value? Those are some of the things that you need to think about. Hey, Linda, thanks for popping in. And guys, do me a favor. 
As you come in, share out the video. I would appreciate it. I'm trying to get everybody uh, to stay on their toes during the summer months when it comes to job searching. Don't sleep on the summer. This is the time where you can be doing your inventory uh, so that you can get yourself to the next level. You're not going to get to the next level by just sitting there uh, not doing any work. I want you to go ahead and make that list of the things that you like about your job, the things that you don't like about your job. Maybe you don't like uh, the pay. Maybe you don't like the benefits. Maybe you don't like it because you don't have the flexibility that you need. Whatever it is, write it down. It's going to be different from everybody. And that changes over time. So what was important to you a year ago, two years ago, three years ago, may not be important to you. So it's always important to continuously have a list. You should be doing a career maintenance every couple of months, uh, depending on the years that you've are that you've been in at your job you need to be doing that maintenance just like you would do your car maintenance and what's the purpose of the car maintenance the car maintenance is so that you can keep your car in tip-top shape so that your car can perform at its peak performance and that's the same thing you want to do with your career you want to be performing at your career in your job at your peak performance and so every so often you got to do the career maintenance you got to do the inventory. You got to ask yourself the hard questions. You got to prioritize. You got to figure out what's important to you. And so that's where I come in. I'm keeping you guys on your toes. You're, I'm not going to let you sleep on my watch. No more of I hate my job. I can't stand my job. I don't like my boss. We're not. We're going to stop complaining. We're going to be proactive. We're going to evaluate our gifts, our talents, our skills, our likes and our dislikes. And we're going to take all of that and we're going to use it and we're going to achieve our career goals. So, guys, if you have any questions, you can go ahead and put them in the chat. Even if you're watching on the replay, go ahead and put your questions in the chat. I'm always here to help you with your career goals. Don't be afraid to ask. Don't be afraid to reach out to me. For those of you who are job searching, you haven't job searched in a while, you need a little bit of guidance, I want to go ahead and recommend my book. It's The Seven Secrets to Mastering the New Job Search. Make sure you get this copy. It's got some good information on the questions you can ask during the interview, how to negotiate your salary, how to know when it's time to change your career. What kind of mindsets are holding you back from your career success? All that's going to be in here. You can get a hard copy or a, an electronic copy if you go to gum.co forward slash master the job search guide. Get your copy. That'll help you. Job searching doesn't have to be stressful. You don't have to be fearful of it. You don't have to be intimidated by it. I'm here to help you with that, guys. And as you're working on your list, guys, and you're evaluating the things that you may not like about your job or some of the things that you wish were better, if that list is long, I want to invite you. I am starting a meetup and a networking group for women. We are going to be helping women find better jobs. So if you're looking for a better pay, you want to work for a better company, you want better working hours. You want a company that tailors to women uh, who has provides daycare, those kind of things. Whatever it is, for whatever reason, you want a better job. Just because you're sick of your job, you've been working there forever, you're ready for a change. Whatever it is that you, for whatever reason, you feel like you need a better job, we're going to be there to support you and help you find that better job. And so I invite you to join that networking group. If you want to get more information, you can go to bit.ly forward slash corporate connections 2018. Get on the list so that you can get more information about the event dates, the event locations, and what will be going on. Because we're going to be sharing information on jobs. You know, a lot of times you don't hear of women just really getting together and discussing their jobs and job opportunities. And so that's what we're going to do. We're going to network. We're going to talk, we're going to discuss, and we're going to see what's out there and see how we can help each other achieve our uh, career goals. 
And so, guys, thank you so much for listening. If you guys don't know who I am, I am Shalonda Phipps, a.k.a. the Adult Guidance Counselor. I help unfulfilled women master the new job search. Job searching doesn't have to be scary. You don't have to stay stuck in a job you don't like. I'm here to help you. Make sure, if you haven't already, schedule uh, a session with me. We can do a free session. We can discuss where you are and discuss how I can help you move forward in your career goals. Don't be afraid. Go to my business page at Maximize Career Potential. Go ahead and schedule your session today. You won't be disappointed that you did, I promise you. And some of the things that I got planned uh, in the upcoming months, like I said, um, doing the women's networking group, also working on some webinars where I'm going to discuss um, who moved my cheese. Those are one, that'll be one of the topics. Also going to be discussing uh, what color is your parachute. Uh, for those of you that don't know, that's a, a pretty um, important job searching guide that I'll be teaching from. And so if there's anything that you would like me to teach on or you would like more information on, don't hesitate to inbox me or you can put it here in the chat. Any uh, areas of job searching that you need help with, let me know any areas that are a little challenging or areas that you struggle with, let me know so that I can help you and help you move forward, guys. Once again, I'm Shalonda Phipps, AKA the Adult Guidance Counselor, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.